Hey gang, today I am super excited for this video because in this video I'm going to be showing you a whole slew of new strats that I've been using that have easily earned me over 50 plus kills and definitely continue to rank me up. Really quick, if you like this sort of content, consider subscribing. It's free, quick, and easy, and you can always unsubscribe later if you change your mind. I post strategical and how-to content at least once a week on my channel, and I'd love to see you in the comments section below. Let's get into how to do these strats so that you guys can use them in your next rank game. We're going to jump right into the action with this first strap because it is explosive. Dude, this is a freezer hot drop strat that I use every single time I play cafe. You'll start this strat out as Montane or Lion. Either way, make sure you have the Hard Breach secondary gadget on. I usually spawn Park. This is a duo queue strat that works best with Twitch. As Monte, I usually need Twitch to draw me up the white stairs to make sure there aren't people ratting around in corners upstairs. Once I'm in dining, Twitch then uses her shock drone to get any electric claw off the hatch. Even though it sounds really loud on our end, the secondary hard breach is actually one of the more quiet hard breaches on the defender's side. And because it literally does three damage when you're standing directly on top of it, you can use it to actually hot drop in as it's exploding. It is literally the best utility for this application. As Monty, I usually drop in first to scout out the area and call out where the guys are. I try to go for plant at my earliest opportunity. Then Twitch will drop behind and try to get picks while they're distracted on me. Once I get the plant down, I keep calling for my team as they start to swarm in from the other bomb site. My door? Double door right there. I gotta push out. Very nice, one left. This strat works best for me with Montane so I can easily get out of the freezer and call out where people are, but I've used the lion as well to use his scanner while going for plant. If you have a third man, go fuse and cluster the other bomb site. This is great for covering up the planting sound. Yeah, you got it. There's another one. There's lots of them. Be careful. All right, call. Okay, there's a guy on ping. He's not paying attention. He's not paying attention. See if you can plan. It's all you know. You yeah, I'll watch hatch drop. Last crap. <laughs> a final note, we don't ever open the freezer wall simply because they can easily flank you. Strat number two. It's a sneaky and aggressive attack strat for kayaks on canal. As you can see, it's pretty simple. You rely mostly on finesse. You drone out scuba, you open the window, jump in, drop the pit, and then come back up the other side and start shooting people in the back. I won multiple 3v5s doing this strat. There are really no parameters for this strat other than somebody who can open the windows very quickly. I've done this with Sledge, Knock, Blackbeard, and Glass. Whoever you choose, here is the step-by-step -step walkthrough of how I I do it. First, I spawn floating dock. Then in the prep phase, I send my drone through scuba slash diving and pre-place it behind this fancy flip-flop. Then I hurl my second drone up over the building to get it as close to the trench bathroom drone hole as possible. I try to get my drone on these pipes in bathroom hall. This isn't necessary, but it's definitely helpful. After checking both the windows to make sure no one's peeking, I get in my fancy flip-flop cam to see if anybody's watching the window. Whether they're there or not, I usually jump into the window and either try to get the kill or just ignore them all together. Drop the pit, check my bathroom hall cam, and up we go and start shooting people in the back. I usually try to make it into the bomb site sooner than later. Jager's waiting on the ladder. Okay.
This is a dining slash small tower strat that I've been using a lot. A lot of people don't know this, but if you break the top half layer of the wood on the floor, Thermite actually cannot put his exothermic charge down. To open the top half wall, which is all too common for this bomb site. All you have to do in order to not shoot all the way through the floor is to shoot perpendicular to the bars. The bullets won't go all the way through the floor and it'll just get the top layer wood, enabling you to still play safely in sight and to deny Thermite all of his fun. You might notice I don't set my shield up right next to the doorway. That's because I don't like getting shot in the back while I'm trying to do something. I set my shield up just far enough into tower to cover any long angles that people can get on me from the other bomb sites. I also ask for two ADSs on the right hand side on the wall. Croc, could you do me an ADS on the ping? It's a good idea to open up the top half wall between the bomb sites in case they start to take kitchen. You can smoke off the push from big tower from dining. Because you're holding this shield, they can't just walk up and get the wall open. How? If you miss the spot on the floor, or for whatever reason you didn't have time or forgot to shoot the floor, you can still shoot the thermite charge before it goes off. Still on Oregon, but on a completely different bomb site, I have a unique strat for keeping the attackers from breaching attic when defending games. Sophia's dead. White. White in the big window. Dead. Holding tier 3 in big tower isn't new, but I've put a pretty unique twist on it. If you play Oryx, then you can open the main stairs window and attic hatch ahead of time, and go ahead and grab the reinforcements on the attic wall. Then I drop the hatch and get into T3. It's important to shoot out the glass in the other windows because I've actually had Amaru come in right behind me and you can hardly hear it if you don't shoot out the glass. After shooting out the glass, I like to shoot out a little peak hole without breaking the glass by shooting the boards out at an angle. I try to play here most of the round and both stop them from opening up attic and preventing people from pushing up the main stairs with this crazy long angle. If they don't push you or your team starts dying off on site and they need help, Oryx is the absolute best operator to get back to the bomb site quickly since he can just go straight up the attic hatch instead of going all the way around to find a staircase. I usually get between at least one and three kills with this strat. This strat works really well in combination with the mute master strat hold, since these are the two primary ways that people push these bomb sites. Before we move on to the next strat, I wanted to show you guys a really cool trick you can do with the K's electric claws. And you can do it on almost any wall. We're actually going to be hiding the electric claw in plain sight. All you do is reinforce one side of the wall, then shoot out the bottom and throw the electric claw inside the reinforcement. Then you shoot out wood in different areas along the reinforcement and the wood debris actually falls down and covers up the electric claw. The debris does not go away so it stays there and covers it up the entire entire time. For most walls, they won't be able to blow it up from one side, and even if they have IQ, she's going to be stumbling around wondering what's going on. Because why would it be on the same side as the attackers, right? I think this is a pretty awesome trick and I use it all the time. You thought I was done with Oregon and with Smoke, but you were so wrong. What can I say? Smoke's insane on Oregon. You guys have seen the classic Smoke hold on the elbow in Bunker for Oregon. You may even play it your 
yourself. But if you don't, or maybe you struggle with how to play it, let me show you how I work this. I always start with the rotate on the right hand side and put a reinforcement on the left hand side. This is so you can actually play in the bunker behind your shield without getting shot from the freezer door long angle. Guys, remember that the devil is in the details. I say that because I want to bring to your attention that I actually put the reinforcement up on this side of the wall and not in bunker for a very specific reason. Because if you put it up on the other side, if you go to peak freezer from bunker, your head will be black and the wall will be white, making your head easy to see. But if you reinforce it like this clip, your head will more easily blend in with the reinforcement because it's a darker color, like your headgear usually is. Seems like a small detail, but it's actually pretty important, especially if you're going to take long range gunfights with the SMG 11 because you got to line up your shots. I always put my shield towards the back with a little gap between the wall. This is because some Jaegers refuse to put the ADSs on the right hand side of the wall, which is actually where I prefer them. If they put it on the left side of the wall, then Ash could just shoot an Ash charge in front of your shield and still destroy it. But if you put it on the right side of the wall, that can't happen. Although it is more susceptible to being shot and to being shot by Twitch drones, but you're going to be playing this very aggressively, so you're more likely to get shot before your utility is. Once everything's set up, the first thing I do is sit yeah. very close to the double door and try to shoot as many drones that come in as possible, especially since there could be Twitch drones. The very next thing I do is actually peek and try to pre-fire at head level. After that, I basically peek and re-peek very aggressively to make them hesitant and to slow them down. Oftentimes, they'll just sit and hold angles for a little bit, expecting you to re-peek. So after you peek the second time, I would take it slow. Yes, you're very likely to die peeking over and over. But in my experience, you're more likely to kill them before they kill you. And if you don't play this aggressively, most people will just burn all of your utility and then eventually blow up your shield and push you back. You can't have any fear while playing this area. Peek it twice or three times and then retreat back to your shield and smoke it off too if you think they're going to push. If you've seen my how to play smoke guide, you'll know that this is all a time game and you're just trying to waste time. But since you're playing it aggressively, you're more likely to get kills or die than waste time in this situation. It's also extremely helpful to have somebody putting pressure on the other side of the bunker, even if it's just from the doorway. Callie? Twitch <laughs> That's ace. That's so mad. Thatcher? Yeah, upstairs. Oh my- I'm fucked. Finally, some mute strats. I know you guys have been waiting for these. I'm excited to show you guys two new mute strats that I've been using. I don't have a lot of clips for them, but whatever. I've been using it every single time and it seems to be pretty good so far. I do hate Villa personally, so it's nice that I was able to come up with something to ease my pain on this horde map. We're holding study and the mute jammers go behind the couch in front of the fireplace to the right hand side of the study window and on the other side of the corner close to the study door. Then you play in the corner of study and wait for people to start to push the window and the doorway, and sometimes up the main stairs. I usually try to stay in study as long as possible, but if you feel the pressure building up, you can drop the hatch and work your way back up main stairs to try to get back in the same spot. If you're careful, you can even watch the aviator doorway from study on a pixel. Jump. I'm out. He just pushed in.
again on Villa is a master closet hold when defending trophy. It's super aggressive, but it's been working pretty well for me so far. You'll have two mute jammers in the closet, one next to the door and another next to the closet window. The third one goes behind this little half wall next to the bathroom door. And the fourth one goes on the left side of the bench at the end of the master bed. I always reinforce the two bathroom walls closest to the bathroom window, and I like to rotate into the bathroom in case I need to get out. This strat rarely works without 180S in the closet with you. Oh my gosh. That's diffuser? 3v1. I have diffuser, guys. No mad outside. Last one outside. Nice job. Bottom Astro. Okay, that's my breakdown of these 50 plus kill strategies. But if you plan on actually using these in your ranked games, I highly recommend you watch the full rounds I have coming up next. Because I do these strategies so often, it's likely that there's things I do to succeed that I just don't think to tell you guys. But you could definitely learn from watching the full rounds. We're gonna get into the full rounds. I hope you find some things that stick out to you and of course, enjoy. Okay, we're, we're doing the hot drop, so does that mean somebody doing brown? We're gonna need that twist to try and get the, hey twist. Um, would you be able to get the K to, oh, the hatch is soft right now. They might be getting it, though. I'll go brown Which side. Way, Which wall do you want me to get? Well, if we're... The hatch. I don't know. My, I can't use my words. You know the hatch? Freezer hatch. Freezer hatch? Is there anything was on it? <laughs> there might not be anything on it. Hold up. We don't want everybody doing this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going brown bar side. Okay, so twit... Twitch and the other guy. Yeah, they did. But they didn't put Kate on it. Okay, I do not know if anybody's VIP. Train clear. VIP is clear. I just drowned it. Okay, I'm pushing up. You said train's clear? Is anybody VIP? They have a clash. He said VIP clear just a second ago. Dining is clear. Reading. Okay, they're all hunkered up in sight. It means it's actually kind of hard, guys. Uh, I'll drown a little bit. Okay, no. Carlton's up here. Be careful you don't get flanked, Carlton. I'm not watching your back. I'm getting ready to drop. You get to push up the brown bar. Where? He's in small bake. It's a clash. Yo, let me know when you guys are ready. Alright, I'm ready. Okay, I'm gonna try to call. Okay, there's a guy on ping. He's not paying attention. He's not paying attention. See if you can plan. I'm trying, I'm trying. Flash, flash small dude still. Help me, help me, help Splash me. Here. I think. Jaeger one bakery side. I open up red. Jaeger one bakery side. Or watch the hatch drop. Okay, I'll watch hatch drop. I got two guys, dude. They have no clue what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to tell you. You fool. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> You've been very irresponsible this I day. I know. I get that a lot. <laughs> yeah. That is a straight fact. <laughs> okay, I think there's a dude holding Uqua. Yeah, it's a who am I? Here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, what are you doing, Monty? Stairs, stairs, on stairs. Let's go the
there any? One bathroom. Okay. Fork your hallway, your hallway. Thank you. Hmm. Croc, could you do me an ADS on the ping? Oh, I forgot my job. I forgot my job. I forgot my job. I forgot my job. They're coming in above small tower. Where am I going to die from? Big or small? Absolutely ready. Need help? He's 90 guys, 90. He's gonna go around, but. He's my tower, my small tower, my small tower. Yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> that scared me, dude. I'm like, ah! <laughs> Damn. That sucks. Well, I think someone's armory. Yeah, you know, watch out. There's a claymore on main stairs. Slide down over. Near the stairs. A window. window. Legend Sophia in armory. In the very armory, right. Armory, armory, armory. Okay. Sophia's dead. Legend's there too. A window. So there should be like one health.
I just put a beeper right there on the yellow. I'm coming back to site. Oh, it's not like that sludge is I'm in, I'm in attic. Yeah, why didn't they window? Jumped in the big window. Prone. Dead. Shit. I can't hit a drone that's holding still, like... Thatcher, huh? Two bunker, I think? Yeah. That's ace. Ace or that's still in bunker. Thatcher. Pulse, look out. What do you have, Pulse? There's one more out there. I'm out of SMG 11 ammo. Outside small tower, oh, dude. T1. Sophia is 55. Big tower. Ash is bunker. Ash is one hit. Sophia is droning. I'm, I don't want to get pinched. She's droning. I think she's still going to try to come in from stairs. Yeah. Upstairs. Yeah, both stairs, 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 Sophia. Help me with the stairs. Sophia on stairs? Yo, I have him a losing. Oh my gosh! I'm fucked. Last one on stairs. I don't think he's upstairs. 25. Where? On the stairs, please. The stairs. Okay. Wait him out, wait him out, wait him out. Yeah, play time, 30 seconds. Yo, there's a drone right there. Got it. that now would you <laughs> you probably need to put it like behind the couch honestly I don't know hey, I don't know I just know it's gonna get shot from the window what Corey can you put one uh, on uh, aviation wall oh. I'll, I'll put my uh, bandit batteries on the uh, bar wall here aviation aviation, aviation I don't wall. think I can so that they don't breach it to get into aviation. I'll just shoot it if they do because I'm playing in here. Oh, uh, okay. The spitzy guy's finna die. Uh, we need this. Actually, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Does he have Apex? You have Apex? No. Nice okay. try. Twitch?
I'm out. He just pushed in. In study, in study. Yo, one side, two top, one top lane. Hostile hallway. One more top red. Possibly going nice. Close by study side. Maybe enter door for it. Yeah. Hey, one's aviation. To stick it! Thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Don't even need to kill the last guy because they're gonna take the <laughs> Big motherfucking brain just killed a motherfucker's like. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's easy, like, whoo, I kind of made my day, dude, if that, you know. <laughs> Let's go. No med? They have a no med, med. Heavy pushing uh, master so far. I hear three out there. I forgot to ask for an ADS in here, so I'm probably just gonna get naded. <clears throat> Nice kills. Oh my gosh. That's diffuser? 3v1. I have diffuser, guys. Get closer to me, Last please. One. Last one, Nomad outside. Last one outside. 